Free to Succeed, Raid Shadow Legends, Oompaville, Cody Ko, Jake Paul knocks out Ben Askren. <laughs> the Jake Paul thing we're a little bit late on, but I, I think probably there's still some people looking that up occasionally, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see. How's everybody doing? Mug Club in the house, baby. Um, all right. So we've got, what do we got going on here? Also, real quick. What? What is this, dude? Why? Like, I get it. He's good. That's fine. You're late, though. You're late. You're late? And put out fragments for Brogney, dude. What are you doing? Why do they do shit like this? This is so stupid. So. God, man. Who is making these decisions? Hey, you know what? I know the fusion's over. I know the fusion's over. A lot of people weren't able to get Brogdy. We made the fusion way too hard. You want to sell him some epic fragments? <laughs> uh, 15 for 10? I'm proud of them motherfucking things, huh? 15 for 10. That means they think an epic champion is worth 150. $150 for an epic champion. They are goofy, dude. They are just straight up goofy. No other way around it. No two ways about it. Bro, I can't play the game if you don't let me play the game. All right. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I'll take that. All right, look, dude, I'm clicking. All right, let's grab our clan boss roll. Let's see if we drop Nightmare today, uh, or yesterday. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. And we got a legendary book out of the deal and an attack chest with speed sub. Go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all make me proud, baby. We got some tournament points straight out of the gate there. We we got um, some new champs coming they posted about. So we're going to take a look at those. I just want to poke my nose in here real quick before we do that and look at what's going on. All right, already. Wait, I don't understand. You must earn a minimum number of points. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, so I, I had already done it. We'll get an XP boost shortly. That's going to be great. I mean, y'all know I've been talking about how much food I need to make. Uh, we're just, we'll get rid of the red dots, and then we'll... I can't get rid of the, the red dot for Doom Tower, because it just won't ever go away. But everything else we can try to get rid of. Nope. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a clan boss run, and then we're going to hop over and take a look at the new champs. You know what I mean? Being productive while we're being productive. All right, what's over here? I think this one. Yeah. Okay. So ten new champions that will help you tackle Talaria's biggest challenges. All right. So I was thinking, I was just thinking, I could use some more champions to help me tackle Talaria's biggest challenges. You know, Geomancer, new dwarf. They, man, they're filling up dwarves, dude. All right, attack dwarf. He's got an A1 AOE with a decreased accuracy. Huh. A2 removes all buffs from a target enemy that attacks them. Steals all buffs instead if the target is under HP burn placed by this champion. Reduces cooldown of quicksand grasp by two turns if the target is killed by this skill with an HP burn debuff placed by this champion. Okay. 
and then a3 is quicksand grasp basic we'll just read the ascendant i don't care about the basic fully depletes the target's turn meter fills this champion's turn meter by the amount of the target by the amount the target loses has a 75 percent chance of placing hp burn and a 25 percent chance of placing a weaken okay I guess it would be cool if we can affected HP burn. It used to, way, way back in the day. I just, I don't know why, man. We can debuff annoys the shit out of me <laughs> when it doesn't come with a defense break. I don't know, I feel like we can, should affect HP burn. Then that would be kind of, I mean, it's still a great skill, don't get me wrong, but I'd like it better if, if they worked, if those debuffs worked together. And then a passive decreases the damage all allies receive by 15% and deflects the damage onto each enemy under an HP burn placed by this champion. Whenever this champion is attacked, it deflects 30% of the damage instead. Interesting. That damage reduction is kind of huge. Hmm. Interesting. And then HP lead. Okay, cool. Not bad. Oh, here's the new, um, the new fusion dude, which I don't know why they put him at the top, but okay. We've, we've been over him. He, he does a lot of hex stuff. He's, he's pretty legit. He seems like he's going to be really good. Right, sure. oh, I'm not, we've covered him and I think everybody, but at this point knows about him. He, he does a lot of hex. He's supposed to work well with Thea. Um, interesting. Seems like a very interesting champ. Right. Uh, AOE ignore defense with hex and stuff. He's got cool stuff going on. You've heard of him by now, I'm certain. Uh, Helior, Helior, maybe. New Banner Lord. Let go. Okay. A one attacks one enemy, increases his champion's defense by five percent if he crits. Stacks up to twenty. Will also heal this champion by seventy-five percent of their defense after attacking if their defense has already been increased by 20%. So built for longer fights, apparently. Okay. An AOE places shield on all allies for two turns equal to 20. Ooh, a new monster, a new monster mechanic here. Okay. A3 transfers all debuffs from all allies to a target enemy then attacks that enemy with the default skill converts his champion's resistance into additional accuracy when using the skill. That's pretty nice right there. Seems like... Seems like it's someone that's supposed to be helpful in the new spider dungeon. In, in the... In the in 25, Spider 25, which I believe is magic affinity now. So he's got advantage. He makes himself tougher. He's got this huge shield mechanic. This is nasty. You think about all the poisons that get stacked on your team. And he puts them all, he transfers them all to the spider. And then he absorbs damage from teammates that get hit if they've got two or more debuffs. I feel like that's Spider. He's Spider Helper here. So that's pretty cool. He seems interesting. Seems like he's going to be a good one to have. Uh, Gor Gorlos Hell Maul. All right. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit fills this champion's turn meter by 10%. If the target is under decreased defense, HP burn, or decreased accuracy. Okay. We've got a two AoE defense down. I'm all for it. A3, 75% chance of an HP burn and decrease accuracy for three turns. Fills the champion's turn meter by 20% if he crits and attack in Doom Tower Battles. Okay. Cool enough, cool enough. Hotatsu. Okay. Hotatsu. Hotatsu. Looked like a demon spawn at first glance, but okay. Uh, A1 leech. AoE attack down. Defense buffs the whole team. Continuous heal the whole team. And removes... 
one random debuff from this champion at the start of each turn will remove crowd control debuffs before other debuffs. Okay, interesting. Huh. I'm seeing some clan boss potential here, some clan boss usage. You can get that down to three turns. But that's all nice clan boss stuff. It can be the stun taker. Interesting. Another another pretty interesting one. Another Shadowkin. Good. They're filling them up. A1 poison sensitivity. Increase accuracy and increase attack buff on this champion for two turns and attacks. HP burn if the attack is critical. Okay. A3 attacks all enemies. 50% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And then... Passive immune to decrease accuracy debuffs increases this champion's crit rate by 0.05% for every point of accuracy they have. Well, that's interesting. Hmm, that's interesting. Cool, cool new mechanic. Another Shadowkin. Gimbo, the Dishonored. A1 steals attack buffs. Also has a 30% chance of stealing another one. The attack buff steal can't be resisted. Okay. Attacks all enemies. This is the A2. Attacks all enemies. 80% chance of decreasing the duration of all buffs by one turn. It can't be resisted on critical hits. Okay. A3 is crit rate buff and crit damage buff on himself for three turns and then grants an extra turn. And then passive is immune to decrease attack, will ignore unkillable buffs when attacking under an increase attack buff. Huh. Speed lead by 20% in arena. Seems like a fun one. It's like a fun one here. Crit rate and crit damage buff. This, 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 and grants an extra turn. This lets you set him up to, uh, really, really set himself up to do some damage here. You run him in a cleave with an Arbiter, he's going to get the attack buff, he can hit the unkillable. Interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Bur Burringuri. <laughs> A1 Provoke. A2 AoE Stun. A3 Strengthen on all allies. Places a shield on all allies with less than 50% HP. The shield is equal to 15% of the target's max HP. Passive heals this champion by 50% of their max HP whenever an ally or an enemy dies. Nice, okay. And ally resist in 40 bat uh, in battles by 40. Okay. Ally resist in battles by 40. Let's say ally resist in ally battles. Okay, kind of a cool one. Marauder, another uh, skinwalker. Shadowkin. Shadowkin. A1 stun, AOE decrease attack, but that it's, it's the weak one, it's the weak decrease attack. 50% chance of placing a provoke on the A3 with a shield, flex damage, okay, a little rare, nothing, nothing too crazy I don't think. Vagabond, A1 sleep, A2 block buffs, single target, also fills this champion's turn meter by 50%. And the turn meter of the ally with the highest turn meter by 15%. And then the A3 fills turn meters of all allies by 15% and places an attack buff. Oh, we got a new little cleave. A new little cleave booster here. Okay. It's the weak attack buff, which I really hate. I really hate that. But there you go. It is, it is what it is, you know. So lots of attack uh, bar boost in there. Okay. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. They seem, uh, seems interesting enough. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm probably mostly into seeing the new, uh, what's his face? The new Bannerlord. He seems, he seems like he's going to be an interesting one. All right, let's, uh, what, what were we holding off on doing today? Because of plan versus plan. Man, they're pulling ahead. We got it. We got to get to it. All right. So, Fire Knight and no, just Spider right now is times two. Ooh. 
do. Use gems. Craft some gear. I don't even know what my, if I have a bunch of resources. I don't, I don't think I really do. I can make a couple swift parry pieces. I mean, we'll, we'll make the few pieces I can make. I am, I'm trying to collect a little swift parry, actually. And then I'll make whatever the perception I can. How about that? Let's get a few pieces going. Uh, no. No, don't do that. Give me, give me, give me something useful. You sack of shit. You sack of shit. <laughs> oh man, am I really not gonna get one usable piece here? Okay, I'll take that. Oh, wish that was accuracy, but whatever. Take what you can get, you know. Maybe I'll just roll triple speed and it won't matter that much. Speed, a speed attack and resistance again, huh? Speed and resistance, I mean. All right, we'll keep it. There's a few pieces. Do 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 what we can. My dog, my dog's in there talking. He's about to get breakfast. Uh, what's another? I have four books. Was there anyone I was talking about booking? Booking. He didn't need them. I forgot we did him already. That's awesome. So glad those books went there. That's not sarcasm. It sounded like sarcasm, but it was it was real. I really am happy the books went where they went. All right, we won't worry about booking anyone. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll probably try to get a lot of our points from Oh, level up. Okay. Level up. Okay. I'm going to try to six star someone today and level them up a bit. So I'm, I'm going to try to get a lot of points from that today. Probably that and ascending. Um, Great Hall. What do we want in here? Let's do I'm probably going to want to start getting some resistance up or ac accuracy and resistance. Let's do a, let's do a little bit of resistance here. And a little bit of HP. Because I know that I have plans to bring up Rector Drath. And Rosin's gonna benefit from some of this. So we'll give this to just a little bit. Maybe it'll add up a little bit for Rosin. Alright, that should have been a good a, a good amount of points there. Okay, so yeah, I think today we're gonna spend a lot of time making food and try to get a lot of points that way. And then uh, and then from there, I don't know, we'll check back in tomorrow. We've got basically two more days of this, so we'll check in tomorrow and see how things are going. Um, and yeah, I forgot to mention, there's an account giveaway going on right now. It's a great starter account. I'll card to it back at the beginning of the video, so you will, you will have already seen the card by now, but if you didn't notice it and you made it to this part and you wanna go check it out, the card's at the beginning of the video. Um, it'll pop up there. So that's it, I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna get to work. Uh, I'll be streaming in a little bit if you wanna come hang out in the stream. And other than that, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you.